Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny. I am the tie guy. This time I'm reviewing the company The Tie Bars Bow Ties. And let me tell you, this is not just a review. I've had these things for about a year and a half, two years. I've built up my collection. Uh, I got crazy about wearing some bow ties. And I thought, well, what's an affordable way? And of course, the Tie Bars website has so much inventory, so much selection, and it's really easy to look through and uh, narrow down your choices. So I built up a little bit of a bow tie collection with them. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I want to show you how they've stood up over the test of time over the past two years. So let's get started on that. Um, unboxing, when it comes to your house, it kind of looks like this. It comes in a little tiny box. That's all you need for a bow tie. Open it up. There's a bow tie in there, and then it also includes a card from the bow tie. It's sort of their business card, and on the back of it, it has a bit of a, some pointers about tie care. All right, but I really want to show you how do these suckers uh, hold up for the last couple of years. Let's have a closer look. So this is what I mean, what happens after a year and a half. Um, and I'm not saying I'm wearing these uh, so often. All of these threads... On the, and it happens on these uh, jacquard style where the pattern, uh, the weave of the design is the actual pattern. Um, so like I've got a lot of, uh, you know, pattern ones that are quite different, but this is all in the weave. This is not a screen print. So that's sort of uh, lends to uh, the material, the silk being a little bit more delicate and then it starts to fray. So there's the first one. I love this pink bow tie and now I can't wear it. Well, I have been wearing it, I have been making do, and I'll show you how I've done that. Um, so this side is screen printed, and then if you flip it over, it's got a pattern on there. But this is where the problem starts to happen, where there's a lot of damage on the edges. So I'm just curious, like, you know, in the next year, if somebody kept their bow ties, and they wore them, let's say, on a regular basis, more than I do, so every one of these, every one that has a, a jacquard finish on it has threads coming out of it. So this is what I do. Oh, here's one that's really bad. There's, there's a spot on here that's just falling apart on me. So, and it continues to these threads. Oh yeah, here we go. So, you know, I, I put these bow ties on and I make do with what's going on. And at the end of the day, let me, see, let me show you a, a brighter one so I can illustrate what I'm talking about. So it's got like this fur going on uh, and uh, what I end up doing is either I do it myself before I put it on or I get my wife to do this while I have it on is basically I'm getting this thing a haircut every single time before I go out just to extend the life of this thing obviously I'm being really careful not to cut the bow tie so there's still always is a little bit of hair sticking out the edges what I do is I I just lick it and I kind of try to comb it down, but you know what? That's not acceptable. Okay, so it's not only Tie Bar that has problems like this. Um, I've I've gotten other companies to send me bow ties, and this is well, you know, it has a little bit of a of a threaded print just with the bow, uh, the polka dots. But the same thing occurs if you have them sewn in in the pattern they start to get threads in that. So it's not only tie bar that has a problem. These are from a different company. This is a department store one where you know, you're spending $40 or $50 instead of where tie bar, their price point when I was buying them were $15 and I think now they might be $20. So, you know, I still have to have, or I still have to take care of the same things before putting one of these ties on. And honestly, you know, I've stopped buying I've stopped buying tie bar bow ties just because like I love the patterns, I love the designs, but they're not gonna last. They're twenty bucks or they're fifteen bucks and you know you get what you pay for, unfortunately. You know what? These these jacquard uh patterned bow ties started fraying right away. Like as soon as I started wearing them, right away I would start getting little ones and I thought, oh that's not a big deal, I just cut it off, right? Leave a little gap, don't cut the don't cut the bow tie. Yeah, I'm very careful about that. But you know what? That's like, I'm never buying a bow tie from Tie Bar again that is this kind of jacquard uh, pattern, even though that's what I love. You know what? The only ones that have stood out is this screen printed one. This screen printed one is held up like a champ. 
like not a single fray at all throughout not not in the logo not not along any of the edges it's been really good so I'm really confused you know why is the quality so good here I get it that the threads and the pattern is stronger and here it's all very individual and more susceptible to damage you know what I don't know if it's just because you know you get what you pay for but my advice would be if you're buying from tie bar make sure it's a screen printed one or you know what it's not gonna last and you're gonna waste your money so you know what I hope somebody from tie bar is watching this and taking note because that's not acceptable I hope no one buys a jacquard finish bow tie and I'm sure you know if you put a little little bit of wear and tear on your neckties it's gonna be the same t same thing so I would stick to screen printed uh, products from the tie bar is my advice but there we go hopefully you enjoyed that I want to give you guys the best advice I can give you that's my shopping experience with tie bar I don't have any links because you know what they're such a huge they're the biggest online company and I hope they're listening you can find them Google them it's they're called the tie bar at the tie bar.com all right I hope you enjoyed that thanks yeah and don't forget hey if you guys have ever bought from tie bar and you've had good experiences like you know what this is my good experience. That's great. But you know what? The other ones haven't been ex good experiences. So please let me know in the comments below if you've had good products or which ones to stay away from and which ones were good. That would be great for me to know and I can pass that along to everyone so we don't uh, get burned on that. Thank you so much for watching and take care.